Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey, look, it's Steve Urkel. Hmm. You got your ass kicked by a 90s nerd. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. It's the Target exclusive Jungle Mission 3 pack Wheeljack. So, this is the last figure in the box set, and I gotta say, this is actually probably the most interesting figure to me. I hated the redesign of Wheeljack in the movie. They should have just called him Pablo because that's what it says on his van, but uh, yeah, is what it is. Let's go ahead and check out the packaging. So here we have the packaging with the three figures. It's an open box. I totally hate that. It says uh, Jungle Mission 3-pack, Rise of the Beasts. We got the robots up at the top in the hexes. Some artwork down here. It says Transformers. And of course, it's in the buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging right there. Some artwork. And then this side of the box has Bumblebee because this is the Target exclusive line. So here's uh, the robot heads and the honeycombs. Right there. There's the bot in the box. Wheeljack, Nightbird, and of course a Cheetor. Um, looking pretty cool. And then you can see their weapons are packed in little paper bags. And then we got the artwork of the bots down here at the bottom from the movie. Looking all kinds of cool. Bumblebee's head right there. And then artwork on the side. And then the Bumblebee artwork over here on the side as well. Back of the package, it's got the robots in the alternate modes right there. So just kind of to take a close up look of that. So there we have got a Cheetor and Nightbird. And then we've got Pablo, who's not Wheeljack. This is not Wheeljack. But that's really it for the packaging. Let's get Wheeljack out of box and see what we think of Pablo. So here we have Pablo out of package. I mean Wheeljack out of package. And I gotta say, I like the figure. It looks like he does in the movie. I like the design. I do like the color scheme for the character. It's just not Wheeljack. I mean, it's basically Steve Urkel with a Mexican accent. He does have one gun. That's the only accessory he's got is his blaster. So we'll take a look at that really quick. So put a little Pablo back here. Here is his blaster. It's an interesting looking gun. Yep. I'm not sure if that's what his gun looked like in the movie. I can't recall. But uh, yeah, that's his blaster right there. And then as far as articulation goes, his head is on a ball joint. So it does move around and up and down, which is nice. Uh, arms are on hinges. They go out and they do swing up and down. A little hampered by the shoulders. Um, there are weird joints in here. We do have a swivel at the elbow along with a bend. He does have a twist at the waist. Legs do kick that far forward. They do kick back pretty decently. They kick outward really nice. And then he's got a really deep knee joint, which I do dig. And then his foot is on a ball joint and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, this thing's actually sculpted and designed really, really well. Um, it's basically Steve Urkel in a robot. He's got the suspenders, he's got the glasses. Uh, it's not Wheeljack at all. I don't know why they redesigned it. They try to say they wanted to change him from being a brawler to being nerdy, and that's just a bunch of BS. They should have just called him Pablo. It would have been fine had to have a new bot. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like he does in the movie, and uh, I'm, I'm down with that at least. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. He's got his little suspenders uh, on there. I like the browns. The arms are nice and chunky. There's not a lot of hollow space, a little bit in the inner arms, but uh, everything else looks pretty decent. The backpack and the wings look fine on there. Um, yeah, overall, I'm definitely digging it. Could use a little bit more paint app, but that's just a minor gripe. 
And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, well done. Um, it's boxed up really nice. Not a lot of hollow spaces. I like the TV Pablo on the side there. It's the back of the van. He's got big bulky feet on ball joints. You can get him in some pretty good uh, poses and he's very stable. And that's what I'm about in some Transformer feet. For comparison, here we have Pablo, I mean, Wheel Jack with his box mate Cheetor, and they're about the same size. He's definitely a lot bulkier, and I don't know, I think of all three figures, this might be my favorite out of the Mission 3 pack. Transformation on this figure is actually pretty fun, so what we want to do first is we're going to pull his little suspenders down, get his chest plates down, and we're going to straighten the arms out a little bit, and then what we want to do is take the backpack and lift it upward, so slide it upward on his back as far as you can, and then we're going to take the front of the van and get it loose like that. And then we're going to lift it upward to the windshield over his head. So maneuver that over the head so it should look like that right there. And then we're going to lift this weird double joint up off of his waist. And we're going to maneuver the shoulders, kind of rotate them down and inward. So these are really weird joints, so you just kind of kind of rotate them down and inward. And they're going to fold up into the brown part of the van and the bumper. So they'll just align up once you get them into the right place. There we go. And you get the down, put your arms downward. So we're going to fold this one in again and kind of lift up maneuver it into place it's very goofy but it will get there and it'll look like that so it's going to line up nice and even i'm going to rotate the doors down and in this side as well rotate the door down and in and just the front of the van is just going to look like that back of the van here we're going to lift these panels forward on the legs I'm going to spin the feet around and then we're going to oops, spin them this way and line them up so it's going to be the top of the van. Same thing with this side. Just going to flip them down to line it up to the top of the van. We're going to fold these upward like that. And then take the feet or the shins, spin them around and then push them down to make the back of the van. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to take this, fold this down. Flip this around, fold it down, make the back of the van. And then once we've got that, we're going to clamp these together like this. And then you're going to fold this down and the toes are actually going to go up into the front of the van like that. Nice and snug. And then we're going to take these ports and we're going to go up here. So you're going to line these up, make sure the hands are hidden inward. And you're just going to click everything into place. Make sure your wheels go into place up front. They will come loose. Be aware. So just kind of get that up. Click everything together. And put your little bar down. And then click everything. Make sure it's nice and tight together. It will be a fidgety mess. Once you get everything clicked into place, you'll be good to go. And there. Oop, the tire. Fix the tire here. Go in, tire that into place there we go nice and tight and we've got him in his van mode so taking a closer look at the van mode itself i like it it looks good looks like a vw bus um we've got the tv pablo on there the brown and the kind of off-white we get painted tail lights i love that rolls well i like um the design of it the Blue windows look good. I like the grill, the blue lights, the bumper. All that looks good. Yeah, looks pretty good. You got the little luggage rack on the top. Got the back of it here. Love those tail lights on the bumper. Looks really nice. Yeah, overall, I mean, it looks like you did in the movie. This could actually be, uh, you know, almost an Ironhide or Ratchet. 
So you've also got his weapon that you can place here at the top if you want for a little combat van action. All right. So is the target exclusive Jungle Mission 3-pack Wheeljack from Transformers Rise of the Beasts something you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you're collecting all the figures from the movie, then you definitely want to pick up this 3-pack and get this guy. To be honest... Of the three figures, I really like this the best as far as a toy goes. Is this Wheeljack? Absolutely not. Uh, just stupid. They should have called him Pablo. A lot of the fans are calling him Pablo because he's got a Spanish accent and uh, it says Pablo on the side of his van. And that would have been fine. I do like the fact they made him look like Urkel. Uh, definitely a nod to the 90s sitcom character. So that's kind of fun, but it's definitely not Wheeljack. Um, that being said... It's a great design, it feels good in your hand, it's fun to transform, it poses well, and uh, it looks really close to the way he did in the movie. So yeah, I'm definitely digging him, oddly to say, because I was going in hating, I mean hating, the redesign of Wheeljack here. So yeah, there he is, Wheeljack, or Pablo, from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Hey guys. I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.